what's up guys it's ryan burn with bushcraft i hope you all are doing well i'm back at the spot that um that i'm thinking of, i'm going to make a new camp i'm going to make a tarp shelter using one tripod and uh, we'll have a fire out front i got a sleep mat wool blanket and a ground sheet i think somebody is in these woods because I keep hearing knocking in that direction, like like they're hammering on something. And I I just been kind of sitting around and just kind of listening, and just taking it in to see if uh, if somebody is out here. I mean, if it is, it's it's no big deal. But uh, I want to be I don't want to I don't want them to know that I'm here. So uh, the first thing I want to do is go um, on like a, a reconnaissance miss, mission. I want to go to Camp Coyote. And um, so I, I still have some tools down there. I have a saw, shovel, and my machete that I really want to get. And maybe one of those five gallon buckets. Plus I might try to um, adjust the tarps in a different different format uh, on those tripods down there. So, so I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna leave my pack here. I'm gonna take my knife. I'm, I, know, I know as a rule, you probably don't want to leave your pack somewhere, but I don't think it, nobody's going to know it's here but me. Let's go to Camp Coyote, check on Camp Coyote, and come back. It's kind of piney in here, a lot of pine needles and stuff on the ground, but hopefully I don't catch the woods on fire today. We're going to have to get a move on because it looks like we got a storm rolling in. Fun, fun. I heard a roaring noise. Sound like an air conditioner or something running. I don't know if my camera is going to zoom in enough for this. Bees in the tree. All right, so I'm in the process of taking this tarp down and I must've disturbed a nest of spiders. I saw two of them that size. All right, so I just redid these uh, tarps, tied them off differently in the front toward the inside of the shelter. Got little gaps there and I tucked the excess in all the way around. I, li I like the way that looks a lot better. We got openings. Got them staked out all around the back. For those of you who may not know, this is Camp Coyote. I got 10 videos of me building this shelter, camping out here. So if you'd like to see some videos at this shelter, I'll put the playlist up here for you. There's a storm coming. My wife is texting me saying there's a big storm headed your way. Let's grab this bucket with my goods and get out of here. I need to get back to my backpack before it starts pouring. It's coming. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's coming. Okay, I'm running out of time. I'm not gonna do my shelter over there where there's not enough, enough area. I'm gonna do my shelter right here. I'm gonna clear this out, get, get a tripod up, and get, the, and get the tarp up as soon as possible. I find my gloves. I have a dead standing right here.
What I'm going to use to tie this is jute twine. You can get jute, jute twine at the dollar store, like a little three roll pack for like a dollar. <laughs> not 50 cent, not a quarter, but a dollar. She's a little tall. No worries. All right, I'm running out of time. I don't trust this jute twine, so I'm about to break out the paracord. So now I just wanna clean up the edges of this tripod so it doesn't poke my tarp. All right, I finally got set up. The sky is black. I am surprised that I'm not getting dumped on with water right now. And uh, the wind's been kicking up. A basic tripod structure, got the tarp draped over the edges. Me being the dummy that I am, put the tarp on upside down so the middle tie out is on the inside. Or I could have pulled back a little bit more space to that tree back there. But oh well, it's done, it's done. That should keep me dry all night, hopefully. All right, I'm about to get the fire going. I'm gonna do it right here on the ground. I'm gonna be extra, extra, extra careful and not let it get out of control, but I wanna get some coals so I can cook some food on it. What I'm gonna use today is a fire tin from Black and White Fire Starter. This comes in an awesome kit and it's got all kinds of goody fibers and his lightwood blend his wood tender blend in there, super flammable. And this this one right here in particular will, ca will catch a spark from a ferro rod because he's added more, more fibers in there, like cotton fibers and different kinds of stuff like that. So um, I actually have a whole kit that comes with a ferro rod, fire fuzz, um, light wood blend, and the uh, wood tender blend. <clears throat> And uh, it's got a little bitty ferro rod with it, and also uh, one of those Everlight matches. So if you're interested, uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of putting a giveaway in into this video because I feel like that's going to give the people that watch my my channel a chance to win something exclusively instead of somebody searching giveaway and just trying to get something free out of it. So. <clears throat> Yes, there's a giveaway in here, and I'll talk to you more later about that. Sipping on some of the hooch. I think it's time to make us a little drink. <clears throat> I was going to do it with my canteen cup, but I know I'll be out here spilling it. I got some of this carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder. Grape! Grape flavored. Gatorade. Well, that's all the water I got left is what's in that canteen. And it, and it was full. Because when I got back from Camp Coyote, I pounded this whole, almost this whole 
an algae full of water. Oh, so tasty. Speaking of now jeans, this is my wife. My other one, I, I was taking it to work. I had it full of water, set it up on this little shelf. Well, apparently I didn't set up set it up there good enough and it fell. And it must have landed just perfect and it cracked. So I just threw it in the garbage. But I miss my Nalgene. I got to thinking, you know, like, why do you really need a Nalgene? Why not just carry a stainless steel water bottle? Single walled so you can boil it, set it in a fire. So, <clears throat> you got the stainless steel canteen. You need a stainless steel water bottle, right? Because you can't set this in the fire. What good is plastic going to do you in a needful situation? Is the way I look for it, but I like now, Gene. Don't get me wrong, I love mine. I like this one, but you can't set it in the fire if you need to. You could boil, you, you could pour boiling water in here, and it's not going to hurt you. It's BPA free, and it's not going to, it's not going to crack this thing. Like when it's real cold, pour boiling water, fill this thing up with boiling water, put it down in your sleeping bag. And then when you get in your sleeping bag, put it between your legs. Stay nice and toasty. Some roasted nuts. Toasty nuts. This is one of my favorites here lately. Sweetwater. Going coastal with pineapple IPA. Don't float the mainstream. <laughs> Man, it feels good to get out. It's been about two weeks since I've done anything outside. Alright folks, it's time to make some food. I got my 14 centimeter billy pot. Can of steak and potato soup. I'm gonna add some steak seasoning. annoying thing is is granddaddy long leg spiders and they crawling all over my shit alright guys I'm about to get in the sack I probably won't even get inside this wool blanket tonight I'm about to take my boots off see you in the morning Alright guys, I'm packed up, ready to get out of here this morning. I don't have any water, so uh, I didn't want to build a fire this morning because I didn't want to have to sit and wait for it to be out. 
So I'll just drink my coffee at the Casa today. But um, enjoyed it. It was a fun night. Um, if you're interested in the black and white fire starter kit, the Faro kit, leave a comment in the, in the comment section below. Just say I'm in, and um, we'll give it a couple weeks, and we'll uh, we'll do a random drawing. I'm about to walk out of here. You guys take care. I'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.